Hello everyone. Welcome to the Budding Brains Basic Process Simulation using DWSIM Simulator. In this video, we'll be learning how to create a flow sheet using DWSIM application. The objectives of this tutorial are to simulate a mixer, to follow it up with a flash separator and to give a two-phase feed. For this simulation, we'll be using the following example. The thermodynamic package given to us is Rawls law and the units will be in CGS. Benzene and toluene are the compounds which are required and the following molar flow rates, the temperature and pressure values will be used. First, let us open the DWSIM application. Once the application is open, in order to create a new steady state simulation, click on create new with wizard. The simulation configuration window appears. Click next to continue. From the given list of chemical compounds, you can search and select the compounds required for the simulation using the search toolbar. Benzene and toluene have been selected. Click on next. The DWSIM application provides a number of property packages. For this simulation, we'll be using Rawls law. So scroll down, select Rawls law, click on add, and once the property package is added, click on next. Let's change the system of units to CGS. Click on finish. Now, in order to introduce a material stream, under the streams tab, drag and drop the material stream and click on the material stream. You'll find a toolbar appearing on the left hand side. First, let us change the name of the object to inlet 1. Under the stream conditions, select the flash spec as pressure and vapor fraction PVF. The pressure value is 1 atm as given in the question, so we need not change that. Now let's change the vapor phase mole fraction to 0.5. According to the question, the molar flow is 100 moles per second. So let's make the necessary change. Now, click on the compound amounts and you can find the mole fractions of benzene and toluene. In this stream, the mole fraction of benzene is 0.8 and the mole fraction of toluene is 0.2. Click on accept changes. You can also click on normalize. You find that the total is equivalent to one. Now, let us introduce another material stream. Let's change the name of this stream to inlet 2. Let the flash spec be PVF or pressure and vapor fraction. And the molar flow given to us is again 100 moles per second. And the vapor phase mole fraction is 0.5. So let's make the necessary changes. Now click on compound amounts and change the mole fraction of benzene to 0.2. And the mole fraction of toluene to 0.8 and click on accept changes. Now in order to introduce a mixer, under the mixers tab, drag and drop the stream mixer. Click on the object and first let's change the name of the object to mixer. Now let's connect the inlet 1 and inlet 2 stream to the mixer. So under connections, select inlet stream 1 as inlet 1 and inlet stream 2 as inlet 2. Now let us introduce an outlet stream. So under the streams tab, drag and drop the material stream. Select the stream and change the name to outlet. Once this is done, click on the mixer again and under the outlet stream, select outlet. Now you can see that all the streams have been collected, connected to the mixer. So let's run this flow sheet. For that, you can either press the F5 button or you can also click on solve flow sheet on the toolbar above. So let's do that. You can see that the color of the streams have changed from red to blue. So this means that the flow sheet has been successfully run. So in order to check the results, click on outlet. And you can see next to the input data, click on results. 
and you can see the mole fraction of benzene and toluene are 0.5 and 0.5 and in order to check the various phase properties click on phase properties and you can see properties like mass flow rate specific enthalpy specific entropy have been calculated now let's introduce a separator so in order to do that under the separators tab click on gas liquid separator drag and drop it now let's introduce two outlet streams for the separator let's rename these streams as vapor and liquid respectively so the second stream let's rename it as liquid so once this is done click on the separator and you can see that the outlet of the mixer is going to be the inlet of the separator so select inlet stream 1 as outlet and select the vapor stream as vapor and the light liquid stream as liquid so you can see that for the under the calculation parameters under the outlet pressure calculation you have three options inlet minimum inlet average and inlet maximum so using these three methods you can calculate the pressure for this simulation we'll be using inlet minimum so click on it. and you can see that the flow sheet is done you can also click on solve flow sheet and in order to check the results you can go to the individual streams and find the results the phase properties the mole fractions etc this is for vapor similarly for liquid you can find the results here so now let us add an energy stream and see how it's going to affect the flow sheet so let's change the name of the energy stream to energy so once that's done click on the separator and under the energy stream select energy so once it's connected click on the override set temperature here under the calculation parameters so select the checkbox and let's change the temperature to 100 degrees celsius so once you change the temperature and click enter the flow sheet automatically runs so let's check the results you can see that the molar flow rate of vapor has increased to 200 moles per second and you can also see the compound amounts are equivalent now both benzene and toluene possess 0.5 as mole fractions and when you go to the liquid stream you can find that the molar flow is zero which means because of the energy stream the liquid has completely evaporated and the outlet or the product that we get is purely vapor so we have come to the end of this tutorial in this tutorial we simulated a mixer and we followed it up with a flash separator and we also gave a two-phase feed hope this was interesting and helpful for you all thank you